I'm uh, Kesi Chavda. I'm a psychiatrist associated with three corporate hospitals in Mumbai. I'm going to be talking with Farm Easy on various issues related to mental health and uh, diabetes. You're told all the time that you can't put on weight. You're told that you have to look after urination. You're told that you have to do physical activity. D depression and anxiety is okay, but sometimes you actually land up having fluctuating sugar levels. And sometimes these may aggravate a kind of a psychosis, a kind of a delirium. Your sugar goes out of sync, might go very high, might go very low. And if you're not aware that it's not normal, if, the, if your caregivers are not educated enough relating to this disorder, then you might not get the treatment you need and you might land up behaving inappropriately and that inappropriate behavior can very easily be taken care of if your sugar comes under control but it causes a problem. Diabetes is also associated with issues on the, lip, on the kidney and when things like creatinine and urea go up they also can have the, and you know your electrolytes go out of sync they also can cause a lot of uh, mental health issues which mimic a psychosis where it mimics a person who's gone out of control, who's irrelevant, who's blabbering, who's talking nonsense, who might have issues with sleep, but it's all related to diabetes and it can very easily be controlled. Hence the importance of psychoeducation related to diabetes. Well, I'd like to say that stress-induced diabetes can be reversed if you get rid of the stress, but that's really not going to happen so easily. So what we need to do is to teach the person to cope with the stress. What does happen is that the person, when he gets stressed out, there are a lot of hormones and certain neurotransmitters which are, uh, which are released, uh, electronic circuits within the brain land up getting uh, affected and when that happens you land up having issues related to increase in your sugar levels. So you can be taught how to cope with stress. One of the most important things of course we tell everybody is to exercise because exercise in a natural way actually allows you to uh, channelize the negativity which sometimes gets manifest in inappropriate behaviors and those inappropriate behaviors which might include shouting and screaming and throwing things and getting very angry might again be associated with an increase in blood sugar levels. <laughs>